giving you such an amount. I can't. Mother, that's because you insist on treating me like a child. Like I have no direction. You think you should change that? Because that is what you are. For Christ's sake, there are other good things you can venture into and make great profit. Why novels? In case you have not observed, our reading culture here is not quite impressive. You only lose money if you insist on sticking to reading. Yeah, well, maybe that was the issue the last time, but it's different now. My business acumen has grown somewhat, and I, I do know what to do now. Just give me the money. Sweetheart, I can't risk it. I can't. Why won't you give me the money? I mean, it's just a token of the fast sums you control. And it's not as if it's, it's just your money. It's my money as well, my inheritance. Besides, it's dad's money. I know. I know. But I am his wife. And I have every right to make decisions on his behalf. Bless his soul, wherever he is. He would never indulge you the way I have. You lay around doing nothing, yet I pay your bills, your house rent, and all your excesses. Mother, mother, I'm sorry. I, I really didn't mean it that way. Maybe I came on a little strong. Right? I am tired of your insults. And I'm tired of you blaming me for your lapses. One year. I'm just giving you one year to make something out of your life. Then you will start paying your bills. Mother, you can't mean that. Leave my house. Leave my house. Rubbish. What have you been up to? Well, neither here or there. What have you been up to? Nothing, just missing you so, so bad. Mm -hmm. My exam starts in three days. So mm -hmm. what are you doing here? Aren't you happy to see me? Uh, it depends on the way you look at it. Why are you <laughs> pretending like you're yeah, not happy to see me? I'm happy to. What? What is for lunch? What is that smell? And who told you I was making something for lunch? My organs are intact. Oh! You know, I... <laughs> I have never doubted that. Never. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I hold up. Not that organ. Mm. This organ. You know what I mean? This one. The one that sees that, the one that do stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, different organs. Please, baby, next time, okay, be careful with your choice of words. Otherwise, you'll find yourself in some other people's fantasies. Babe, my choice was correct. It's just you that would have You wouldn't blame me, would you? No, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. You're just a bad girl. So, come. Mm. 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 I don't know. I don't know. I'm just not. Uh, I'm just not in my right frame of mind right now. It's okay. I understand. Uh, you know. I wonder why she wouldn't grant me this one favor. It's all I've been asking for as long as I remember. We yield just this once. She even said that perhaps this wasn't my calling. I should go look for other means to put food on my table. She said that. She 
Jun said she's giving me one year notice. I said that I'll have to go pay my own bills. She must have been joking. Mm -mm. Baby, she wasn't joking. This is the one time I think my mother really meant things. say that maybe writing wasn't your calling what are you implying i was i was thinking no don't worry never mind no 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 we're going to have problems there come on we agreed to be open with each other what's on your mind i really do need help come on you see I was thinking maybe you should go see a spiritual person, you know? Spiritual help. How about this calling issue? They could tell you if it's really your calling or not. No, 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 don't don't get me wrong. I'm not talking about a have list or any of such, no. Hmm. You see, there's this nun. She has a discerning spirit. She could tell you about your past present and even the future so I think you should see her so she could tell you if it's really your calling or not They say, blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth. That girl was really very meek. And the inheritance was indeed great. She inherited everything, including my brother's land in Aja. Holy Mary. She fooled every one of us with her humility. Little did we know that she had everything well planned out, including my brother's death. God. Huh. Even when we found out about it, there was nothing we could do. Because my brother had already willed everything to her. In the passion of the moment. This is serious, Kate. When I had a gist in the village, I thought it was exaggerated because I knew the young girl too. Oh, none of us could have thought about that girl like that. Hmm. This is serious. It was going to take her time to conceive again. Hmm. But my dear, my God doesn't sleep nor slumber. Amen. 
Agnes is with a child again. Praise God! Amen. Hey! Oh God, you are wonderful. Mm. God will continue to prove those people who are waiting for a downfall wrong. Yes. Hmm. Yes. <sighs> I heard all sorts of things at that time. I can imagine. And for a moment, I started blaming myself for not letting Agnes deliver in my hospital. Hmm. The dog! Yes, it's true. It is true. I just realized that present day nurses and doctors take a lot of things for granted. No, you have a point there. Hmm. It's okay. Hmm? Have you heard from my Mary? My own Mary. <laughs> Well, we communicate. Yes. And um, once in a while, when she's less busy, she visits home. That's good. That's good. Felicia, my dear. Sometimes I wonder why God should allow my only child to become a nun. You know what this means? If anything happens to both of us, there will not be anyone to continue with the family name. And I'm sure that she's going to give out everything she has as her inheritance to the church. Kate, but it's true. Do you know how many people that would give an arm to have one of their children serve God with everything? Hmm? I like the way you said it. Hmm. One of their children. Felicia, we are talking about an only child here. Yeah. My only child who has confined herself to the four walls of the convent. Okay, let us look at it this way. Agnes, like Mary, is your only child. Would you have been happy if she had become a nun? <laughs> oh, you see what I mean? Truly. It is very enjoyable watching a madman display than having him as a relative. Ah, uh ah, -uh, kids. You are this your proverbs. I don't know where you get them from. <sighs> but my dear, does she still have the gift of discerning? Come check on me in school before you go there. Come on, baby. See, it's not a must you have to go see the nun, okay? I just thought it would do you some good. At least have a glimpse of what the future holds for you. Okay? Now give me a smile. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, that's more like it. Come here. I'll call you, okay? Bye. Life is a puzzle It's just like a board game It can toss you around In the field of destiny And a time And a day 
what you make out of life is a miracle. The good Lord will continue to strengthen you, my child. Amen, mother. Father Peter would like to see you after catechism. Thank you, mother. How have you been, my child? I've been fine. I mean the dreams. Mother, sometimes I feel I have a dual personality. One inside this convent, where I feel saved and loved. Another outside with the multitude, where I have to work so hard to survive. It's, it's like a premonition. A sudden fear I can't explain. Holy you Mary know? of God. It's okay, my child. The Lord will continue to strengthen you. Amen, Mother. Amen. She thinks um, it's a wise decision to see the nun. So she's of the opinion that he needs spiritual help? Come on, man. She didn't say it like that. <laughs> you come on, I was just teasing you. <laughs> well, maybe you were, but the truth is, well, for a split second, I was thinking of all kinds of stuff. See, Yosita, I don't really believe in the consultation of oracles or even human beings, no matter how much people exalt them. So what are you saying? I should not have gone? Don't get me wrong. I don't think you need spiritual help. I think what you need is a shift of focus. See, you are putting so much emphasis on this your novel thing. Why don't you just find something doing that to bring in money so this old woman stops paying your bills? Sorry, I thought you needed my opinion. Sorry, excuse me if you don't mind. I need to drink. I need to drink. Really. Mommy, why are you looking at me like that? You've been doing that all day. I hope you're spending the night here. Not today. When? Emily, when? Ever since you became a nun, you've not spent time with me. And with your old friends too. Mommy. There is time for everything. Right now I am needed at the convent. The Lord is using me to bless so many people. Ah, that reminds me. Um, how is Auntie Felicia? Oh, dear God, Mother. She's doing well. She asked after you the other day when she visited with her daughter, oh. Agnes. Oh, by the way, Agnes came with her baby. Oh, so how is she doing? She's fine. Mary. I don't know. Maybe it's me, but sometimes I just wish that things turned out differently. And, and God... Ah, mommy, mommy, please stop, okay? I mean, I took a vow of celibacy in order to serve God with my total self. I know He has called me. When God calls you, there are no wishes. You simply obey.
brother. Go in peace of the Lord. Thank you, sister. person she refused to attend to died after 21 days. Yes. Do you know longer dreams? They are gradually becoming reality. I see her. I shouldn't be the one telling you this. But from what I've gathered, Sister Mary is on recess. Recess? What does that mean? Recess? Yes. For some special reason. She's not come out from her room for some days. Okay. Uh. I'm in trouble. Sister, I'm desperate. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm in a lot of trouble. I have to see her. Okay. I can tell you where you can find her. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. You're so kind. Girl, <laughs> 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 you, you are wasting. You should be in Hollywood. Okay, I have to start from Nollywood. You know, the same charity begins at home. Mm -hmm. You needed to see me in action. Mm -hmm. I looked into his eyes and I said, the last person she refused to attend to died after 21 days. Oh, oh girl, cause he fear for my boyfriend died. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, huh? <laughs> oh. oh, God. <laughs> so mean. You are just so mean. Good. <laughs> but seriously, you are so mean. Seriously. But... Why did you lie to him? I don't know. You might have been saying Maybe I was being my usual mischievous self. I don't know. <laughs> or maybe I just wanted to scare him. <laughs> but how can you say the he did not refuse to attend to him? Is that so? I just wanted to make sure he says the non. At least to hear what she has to say to him. Ola, what if he was telling the truth? What truth? I know Sita very well. Maybe he didn't even get to near where the non is. Yeah. Yeah. He was scared. You know, Usta hardly gets scared. But he's turned around. Oh, you get to see the fear in his eyes. He doesn't really get scared. The only thing that bothers him is that his book thing, nothing yes. else. You're trying to. Because personally, I don't think I can date a guy who has a strong, unyielding passion for a particular thing. Because, God forbid, though. What if that thing doesn't work out in him? Everyone becomes his enemy. No, no. Um, Osita is not like that. He's not. Mm. He's such a sweet person. Mm. Mm -mm. It's just that he's focused. Mm. And honestly, I like that in a man. 
Focus. Mm -hmm. Hola. Focus. Focus takes time. Time waits for no one. And people don't waste time these days. Okay, well, except they have a rich mother like Fitters. So, what are you trying to imply? I think I always said before. Hola. Your Osita is the mommy's boy. I mean, his mother does virtually everything for him. That kind of guy is not a, an asset. He's a liability. Believe me. You know what? I am not one bit bothered, okay? That is where you have to pause now because I am hungry. And what do you have in that room of yours? So that will happen. So you go finish it up like you do. Whatever. Please, uh, try and be buying stuff in your own house. I didn't come here to feed anybody. Please. What's that? Where you finish my food? I'm sorry, I can't attend to you. But I've been coming here for two weeks now. I'm sorry. Will I die? They said the last person you did not attend to died after 21 days. Who said so? Is it true or not? It's not time for you to die, okay? I don't want to die. I, I, I don't want to die. I don't even want to hear of it. I have to go. Sister. What do you see? Come on. I have to go. Sister. Destiny. What will be? Life will be what it has to be. Destiny. Well, the only way to find out is to wait for 21 days. This is not funny. This is not funny. They're talking about a human life here. I don't find it amusing. <laughs> Me here, I don't find it amusing either. But let us be serious for once. Did Ola actually say this? Well, not in precise words. You see, she said she knew someone that died after 21 days of not seeing her. Mm -hmm. And you know, the first thing I saw, she was looking at me like, there's this evil locking me or something like that. I, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. <laughs> See, I never believed all this before now, but your reaction seems to be arousing my curiosity. Well, let me just ask you, is there really evil locking around you? If there's any evil, it's coming from you. It's not funny. It's not funny. <laughs> Sorry, I've been waiting. Is it just a hobby or you seem to enjoy stalking people? Well, maybe there's something about you that draw me close. Excuse me? Yes. Why don't you want to see me? Am I saying so grave you don't even want to sit in front of me? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, let me try English. Why don't you want to attend to me? It's your job. There is nothing to attend to. There is nothing to say. You are lying. Listen, look here. I am not one of your characters in your books. Wait, wait, just... wait hang on a minute. Hold up. You said characters. Books. How did you know about the books? Um, listen, you, you sure do have nerves talking to me like this. I have to take my hand. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Sister, wait. How did you know about the books? Huh? How did you know I was a writer and, and you say you have nothing to say to me? Do sisters lie to you? Well, you're a liar! I don't want to die. I don't want to die. 
power today. So where is her husband? He has got to marry the child. Hi. Agnes, it's okay. Kate. What have I done to this house such a lot? The doctor said, you seem very young. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what is responsible for my grandchildren's death. Tell me. <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? <laughs> Fall to the typist and make sure you stay with him till he finishes typing. Okay. the same way her first child died. That was how the second one died. <laughs> Kate, no diagnosis. None. They say it's a strange death. Kate, I am beginning to think it has a spiritual undertone. Spiritual undertone? In that case, let her go to the convent to see Mary. <laughs> A prophet, they say, is not honored in his own home. I told Agnes, but she didn't take me serious. She said she would rather go to her husband's hometown to see an old lady. Well, 
I don't see anything wrong in that. As long as the old lady will tell her the cause of all the strange deaths. Strange indeed. going to get into heaven. Do you know that? Are, are you talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. Why won't you help me? Huh? Why won't you help me? Tell me why you will not help me. You would rather die, right? Why are you always talking about that? Then why won't you help me? Tell me why you will not help me. Huh? Listen. Just help me. Help me. Just. To, I'm going to. You give me that look again. I know it. I'm going to die, right? Why don't you just tell me? Let me go and prepare and die. Say so. Um, look, no. you don't need me, okay? All you need is an exorcist who will cast out that demon of death in you. I have a demon in me now, right? Look at me, I'm a shadow of myself. I don't, I don't think anymore, I don't write, and I love writing. It's like taking my life away. I, I, I can't think of anything but death. All I think about is you. Why won't you help me? And you're here telling me after two weeks of chasing around that, 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 that I, I, I have a demon of death in me? When there's any demon in me, that demon is you because you're my problem. Listen, let me tell you something. You can't run away from what you're supposed to do. You have to help me. Please help me. Don't be like this. Just tell me if I'm going to die. Let, 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 let me go and do something about it. Hmm? Please. Please don't put words in my mouth. Please say something. Say anything. Just do anything. Let me, let, let me get out of this. Um, uh, sir, your constant pressure is beginning to upset me, okay? I mean, don't, don't cause me to sin. I shouldn't cause you to sin? Wait a minute. What? I, can't, I don't believe this. I should not cause you to sin? Look at me. For two weeks, I've been chasing you everywhere, trying to get you to help me. And you, you know what? You don't have a conscience. You don't have one out of kindness in you. And God placed you on earth to help people. That's a major mistake. You're telling me about, 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 about sin. Look, listen, you don't have any inclination what sin is. Listen, you don't have any idea what sin is. Consistently, she refused. She would not attend to me. I had to upset her somehow. At least let her see and feel as bad as I felt. That was why you kissed the no. nun. No, what's wrong with you? Have you got crazy or something? What's your problem? What are you trying to do? Trying to get yourself drunk or something? Look at it this way. I have barely two days to leave, so hey. Last few drinks will kill me now, huh? Now I know more than ever that you need spiritual help. I'll drink it. Of course, because you're not normal, you're not normal, you're not okay again. Hey, pass the bottle, please. Send me away. I 
I, I, I need more time. Please. Sister Mary, we are not sending you away. We just think you need some time outside this convent. But what good would that be to me? What good? Perhaps it's God talking to you about marriage. No, Reverend Mother. I need a vow of celibacy. And I intend keeping it. Sister Mary, one of the seven holy sacraments of the church includes marriage. We are not against it. But I feel safe here. Please don't send me away from the convent. Please, I beg you. My child, the convent is not a place where you hide from your fears. Neither is it a place where you seek answers to your questions. Go and seek answers outside these walls. We will not be waiting. What's going on? Are you ill or something? The nun. The nun, you know? I... I can't reach her. And I have two days to the 21 days you told me about. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Was that why you sent me that text? Can... Come on, you, you, you told me I have to try and get to her before <laughs> 21 days, otherwise... <laughs> Funny. I was, I was joking. God, I'm shocked you believed me. My life has become a big joke. Is that what it is? Baby, it's just one of my jokes. I was joking. You didn't think you were going to take it this? Are you crazy? What kind of stupid joke is that? I've been stressed out. I've had very little sleep. I thought I was going to be dead in two days for Christ's sakes. Oh, baby. I didn't know you were going to take it this way. You know what? You know what? I don't want to deal with this matter right now. I'm going out. When I come back, I don't want to see you around here. I mean it. Come on, baby. It hasn't gotten to it. It has gotten to that. I'm telling you, I don't want to deal with this matter. When I get back, I don't want to see you. Think you took somewhere else. I was joking. That's it, get out. It's just a joke. I was just joking.
Aren't you taking some? Uh, mommy, no, I have things doing in the kitchen. Okay. What? <laughs> the last time I saw that look was the first time you carried her in your arms. 24 years ago. A day I will not forget in a hurry. Felicia, that Caesarean took the best of me. I thought it was not going to end. But it wasn't up to two hours. Eh? Mm. Besides, we put you on sedatives. And we didn't even know what was happening. <sighs> but I won't forget that nurse. Mm. The nurse had told me there was no doctor on duty that night. No, I almost died. Until you walked in and I was, I was like, Thank God my Messiah is here. Abby. <laughs> Hey, what about that that doctor? The doctor, very funny doctor, the one that used to call you Papa. Each time I come to the hospital, they say Papa, your friend is there. Papa, your friend has come. Doctor JD, mm -hmm. that's him. Don't mind him. I saw him the other day after a very long time. Really? And you won't believe it. He still called me Papa. He's a lie. <laughs> I now say to myself, what is wrong with this old man? Eh? Almost three decades ago, he gave me that silly nickname that stuck like glue. <laughs> it was until I left the hospital that some of the staff stopped calling me that name. <laughs> but Felicia, we've come a long way. Yes. <laughs> Truly. Some friends stick closer than brothers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know where she is? Yes. Please. Destiny, 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 destiny
All I could think of was how sarcastic you were. And I couldn't stop thinking of how mean you were to me. <laughs> I mean, was this something I said or did? You know, you're supposed to help people. <laughs> you know what else I could not forget? The kiss. It was so endearing. You know, meeting you all this time has been like the captivating pages of a Danny Still novel. It's intriguing, it's exciting. Every page, a whole new drama. Exciting every step of the way. But you know what? I just keep going, page after page. Because I know around the corner, there's definitely a happy ending. What I'm trying to say is that I want us to be more than friends. What do you think? So, it, it can't be because of some other girl, no. So you don't think you think someone else? <laughs> Hola. I have walked this path several times. That's familiar as an understatement. Do you also think I think someone else? That I am sure of. Look, I don't want to believe this. Okay. Also, then, I have... We've really come a long way to suddenly just start drifting apart. No. He can't be seeing some other girl. After all we've been through together. No. I don't even want to believe that. No. So you don't think you're seeing someone else? Mm -mm. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hey, hold on. Could that be why he's been acting funny these days? Hmm. He doesn't pick my calls. Mm. He rejects as in he doesn't even bother returning them. And even when I offer to come see him in his house, he makes an excuse, a flimsy one at that. Mm. Ah, no. He can't be seeing someone else. No, no. No, he can't. We really we've we've done stuff together, but it's not possible, no. Mm. We've really come a long, long way. Life is a puzzle. It's just like a board game. It can toss you around in the field of destiny and a time and a day. What you make of the I don't know where she's going. Yeah. Um, she'll be here if I don't know. That should be her. I'm really sorry about what happened. It was not my intention. The thing is, she said I was going to die. I thought I was going to die. So I was planning to die, but I found out I wasn't going to die because she lied to me. I, I don't understand. Well, she told me I was going to die. So I got upset and said, what the heck? I might as well kiss and none and get upset because she will not attend to me. Who so is that? Who is that? Oh, welcome, my son. Thank you. Welcome. What is his name? I'm Osita. My name is Osita. Oh, Osita. Welcome. Thank you. Why are you still standing there? Come in. I was wondering the same thing. Ah! He's about leaving. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I was. I'm late for an appointment. Okay. It was nice meeting you. Okay. okay. I will call. I will call back. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Oh
Okay, I know God has forgiven you as long as you don't go She didn't state them as conditions per se. Yep. The thing is that when it's then what other the name then do you call them? See, let me tell you. There are certain compromises a man makes in the relationship. And celibacy has never been an option for me. Look, let me tell you, sister, I'm viral. I'm a full man. And all my organs respond to every stimuli, including a power. Am I making sense here? <laughs> Retarded big ass dummy. Like Felicia, she would have called me or, or, or at least come here. Mm -mm. Mary, that is not enough reason for her to just switch off her post like that. Hey, Felicia. Felicia, where are you? Your daughter 
to bring you here. Because you are the only one who has the solution and who can help us resolve this mystery. Are you willing to help your daughter out of this situation? If it is within my power, I would definitely be willing to. woman and your daughter is paying the price for it there's no escaping from it only your confession will atone for your sin old woman you speak in parables parables that are beyond my understanding Almost three decades ago, an abomination was committed in the heart of the city. Money was exchanged for life. Where the, the good times we had together just because of a trick I pulled on you. It wasn't just a trick. You are playing with my life here. We have done more than that and you have never taken it this far. Okay, remember on April Fool's Day? Remember that prank I played on you? You didn't take it this far, even after you found out. Or is there someone else? Baby. Look into my eyes and tell me you don't love me anymore. Tell me you won't miss the good times we shared together. The passion. Remember those cold lonely nights I spent in your bed? My want. Oh, the passion. 
tell me you're not going to miss them. Look at me and tell me it's all over. She's been hospitalized since then. Agnes, why didn't you get in touch with me now? Huh? What is the nature of her illness? Come on, Agnes, what is wrong with your mother? Auntie, I don't know. I don't know. Didn't the doctor say anything? <laughs> the doctor said. She couldn't find anything. She said she was alright. And to my mom, she says you are the only one who can help her. Auntie, please. Auntie, please. Help my mom. Auntie, please, I'm begging. Please. Please, help my mom. It was tempting. It was tempting. What are you saying, Felicia? It was an offer. So hard to resist. Ten billion naira. What are you talking about? Everything I've had in life. I don't understand you, madam. You want to understand me? I mean, what am I going to tell him? What? Tell him the truth. 
The child was born still. I can't! I can't tell him that! Not after the fifth time! Fifth time? <gasps> For seven good years now, Doctor. It has been a regular occurrence. <sighs> It's quite unfortunate. And that is why you need to help me now. I need your help. But there is nothing I can do. I will pay you anything you ask for. All I need is a child. I don't care how you get it! What? Listen, man. Human trade ended years back, even before my father's time. Perhaps you're in the wrong era. Sure. And if you wouldn't mind. I have a lot of patients to attend to. Please excuse me. Five million naira. For what? For you to start up your own hospital. And another five million naira after I get the baby. You're not serious. <laughs> I will no longer concentrate on my work. All I could think of was the offer. And, and the offer that I knew could change my life around. And, and like a spell, I became defense of ethics and laws guiding my profession. And so, I gave in to the attractive claws of the Naira. This is special what I did not I brought my husband to me. Congrats, Mama. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Hi, my baby. She's beautiful. Oh, she? Yes. I hope she's as beautiful as I am. Who else, if not you? She is. <laughs> Sorry. You gave birth to a set of twins. That night, I gave the nurse who was the only witness a two weeks leave. She was really excited about it. Unknown to her. That I had everything. Kids, planned. please forgive me. Forgive me. You sold my baby for 10 million naira? Hey, Felicia. Please. Please. Lani, it's been three weeks. Three weeks since I lost my mom. Yeah? But well, it doesn't look like it. It looks like she's been dead for one year now. Let me listen. Life is what you make of it. It's not how long I mourn my mother. It's how well I carry on without her. Felicia, that's the name of the woman that gave me to my mother. And that is the hospital she used to work with. 
I was there and um, almost all the doctors that used to work then are gone now. I met this particular nurse that told me to come back tonight. Perhaps I'll meet one of the oldest doctors there. Okay. How do you really feel about this whole thing? How do you mean? Honestly, I don't know. I, I don't know how I will feel if I just woke up one morning and my mother tells me she's not my biological mother. God, I feel so bad. Lami, I hold no grudge against her. You know, she gave me reasons for her actions. Perhaps I won't have gotten so much love and attention from my real parents. So... Hmm. My friend, you won't say this to amaze me. Some other girls would have pulled down the heavens for the truth you just discovered after 25 good years. Come on! Hmm. Lani, you know sometimes I see my life like a storybook. I'm beginning to look like that character in L.A. Confidential. You know, well, what's the her name again? Um, <sighs> you read too many novels this time around. I mean, you and this your novel thing <laughs> to get tired of it. I can't. It's my life. <laughs> I'm famished. Okay. So what do you really have in the kitchen? Just get anything you see there. So anything, I'll anything. finish everything. So don't finish my food. I'm serious. Just it. <laughs> You're not serious. Mm. Gosh. Okay. She has been indoors all day. The news really hits her. And you? Oh, yeah. Are you hanging up? <laughs> Are you hanging up? Are you hanging up? Are you hanging up? Are you hanging up? Well, I am dazed to have a twin sister. The more exciting is the thought of how she looks like, where she's been, and how she has been living her life all this while. That's funny. You know, I was thinking we could make one hell of a story, one hell of a novel out of this, this life of yours. <laughs> Get serious, Osita. I am serious. It's a true life story. It's what everybody can identify with. I'm telling you, put it out there, it's going to sell faster than lollipop in summer. <laughs> oh. <sighs> I know right now things may not seem to black kid over. Hang in it though, okay? Okay. Remember what you always say. Everything under the sun is there for a reason. Give it a trial. That's no harm in trying.
waited in the compound for a few hours before their neighbor came out and told us that Mrs. Henshaw, the owner of the house, had died some weeks back and that her only child had gone out. So we had to drop our numbers with him to give it to her when she comes. It's okay. Let the will of God prevail. Life is a puzzle. It's just like a board game. It can toss you around in the field of destiny and a time. What you make out of life is a meaning of life to you. Oh, yeah. Are you trying to tell us that in the whole of a hospital as old as that, no one has a record of the Felicia? Her cousins, or even her current address. I mean, it's ridiculous we don't keep records. What if she's dead? You know, at first, I wasn't worried about this whole thing. But the truth is, since the past three days, I have been tortured. It started with, with anxiety, then curiosity. Today brought nothing. Nothing but sadness. Oh, God. Just look at me. My very bubbling life has become a drama before my eyes. A, a, a complexity I cannot even explain. impossible to find her, but as faith would have it, the trip in the fair did the magic and the children were happy once again. What do you think? You mean my candid opinion? Shoot straight, don't cut corners. Mister, why don't you make your story more African? I mean, this story about fair and all that, it doesn't work for me. Uh, I don't think it's so captivating. What line should I talk? I mean, that's not what people want to read about. Well, cut to the chase, man. What do people want to read? I mean, people would like to read about stories about passion, you know, economic status, slavery, personal experiences. Uh, come to think of it, why don't you write about yourself? Nah, that's out of the question. There's nothing interesting about me. Come on, there are a whole lot to write about yourself. Why don't you write about your relationship with them? Exactly, I'm serious. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, so um, yeah, let me know that I'm in town, yes. I'm back in town right now. Yeah, that reminds me, I'll be starting work next week. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, mm-hmm. You know you're, you're, you're not a serious person, you know that. You're not you're not a serious person. <laughs> okay, dear, okay, okay. I'll talk to you later, alright? Bye. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh,
Yes, I would like to see Mary. Please, you come back from church. Person no don't understand the again. I beg you, enter, 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 You stay. Um, excuse me. Is she in? Enter, enter, now. Are you still want to go back? Enter, enter. Inside that day, you came to drop the note. It was like... It was like I was looking at a mirror. It, it was too good to be true. I had to rehearse this meeting over and over again. Look at me now. I'm in front of you and all the words are, are completely gone. Are just spitting me. <laughs> Listen, guys, thank you for hanging out with me. I mean, having lunch and everything, okay? Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Excuse me. An interesting conversation, Liz. Thank you. <laughs> um, I've sorted out the bill. Let, okay. let me get the word. I have a copy of the publisher. Don't tell me you read that yesterday. Read? Yes. Ardent is the better word. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my god, I love her, but you know she's such a beautiful writer. You, you know? read it too? Of course, of course. This is what I'm reading now. Um. Wait, wait, check this out. Find things I've read. Oh my god. Oh, I love that book. It's yeah. so beautiful. Look at the characters, Bernie, Mac Jones, Jamie. Yeah. Awesome, 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 awesome. Oh my god. Oh my god, she's such a beautiful writer. You know, I like her use of words. Yeah, very, very beautiful. Oh my god. In the embellishment of words, she's auditious. No, god, I just love her. I mean, you know, okay, um, you said you write? I'm a writer. Are See, you I serious? Write for real. I write half as good as this woman. I need. Oh. <laughs> Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. So, um, what books do you write? Like action, romance, you know, thriller? What, 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 what exactly? Well, it's, it's an embodiment of everything. I, 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 I take a little bit of romance, I take okay. the politics, I take okay. the history, I, I take human interests, I, I garnish it all. I just love books. I have loads and loads of Daniel Stone novels in my house. They're just piled up in my, in my bookstore. You know it's you crazy. Need? You need one of my books in your archive. Are you serious? Yeah. Well, my first one didn't go well. Okay, okay. Well, that was because I was trying to do the business and the writing. Okay. 
Yes. But now it's different. I hire somebody else to handle the business and how to do it. Oh my god, I love books. I love. I'll get rid of your books this day. Okay, I'll give you the first book I wrote. Okay. She's. She's so motherly. Whenever I'm at your place, I, I, I feel so at home. <laughs> I don't know how to put it, but it, it, it feels so natural, you know? Shop here? Yes, I do. I do. Um, I live around the corner. Around the corner? Yeah. So, is that an invitation? Of course, yeah. Come on. <laughs> oh, your car, eh? Tesla and the jewel. I thought it's a death at the king's house. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. Um, what dates did you read um Polish and Cas books? I don't do dates. I don't know. I don't do dates at all. <laughs> I guess that's much. But I know I read it. I'm conscious of it, I'm conscious, I just can't recall. <clears throat> oh no, no, no. Speaking of dates, I'm really late. I'm supposed to pick up Mary. I'm, I'm oh, out of date with her. Listen, I, I need to run. I, I'll sort the bill on my way out. Okay. Um, I, thank you. <laughs> I had a great time. It's okay. Mm -hmm. I, I, are you going to be okay? I'm fine. Awesome. I, I, you know, I'll, I'll sort that. Yeah, no problem. Go, go. Just yeah, go. I should go. Yes, I should go. Yeah, right, I should go. <laughs> 
Oh my god, that was so funny. <laughs> oh. You're not in love with him, are you? Because he's getting married to your twin sister. I know, okay? Oh. I was just saying I wish. Oh. It's not like I want to marry him. <clears throat> You know, we share the same idea, the same passion, and we even like the dumbest cartoon everyone hates. <laughs> <laughs> it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that the good guys are either married or engaged. That's life for you. She's so full of life. Very exciting. <laughs> it makes me laugh all the time. And you know what? She likes football. For real? Yeah! Imagine watching football with your girlfriend instead of her trying to kick you out of the living room. That's every man's dream. And it's gonna be real fun. <laughs> Uh, so how's Mary? She's good. You know, I think I love her. Of course you do love her, that's why you proposed to her. No, I mean the other one. What are you saying? Dakori. I'm in love with Dakori. weeks now. I can't let it continue like this. Else I would lose my mind. I guess I have to talk to her and clear the air. I'm so sorry, I am not at home. Yeah, I, I started work today actually. No, no, seriously, if it's if it's that important, uh, you could come to the office, alright? I could send you the address to my office. Okay, darling. Yeah. See you around, Mary. Bye. I'm so sorry, I need to send something to someone. Please, one second, okay? Thank you. Yeah, hello. Um, send up onto my office, please. Thank you. Send for me. Yes. Your sister? <laughs> yes, my twin, the one I told you about the other day. Um, give this call to George, okay? Okay. Oh. 
Whew. I'm so sorry. I didn't even ask you. Um, what would you like to do? Are you okay? Uh, are, are you alright? I can't do this. Lily! nominated for the most prestigious award because of the book which I titled 